And then this section here is very important. So this is about implementation. So how do we administer this medication safely to the patient? Um, so for PO, it tells you don't push it through the foil backing with dry hands. Um, uh, peel the, the back backing and remove the tablet. Immediately put it on the patient's tongue and it will dissolve in seconds. And then here for IV administration. So this will always be the same sections, IV push, intermittent infusion, Y-side compatibility and Y-side incompatibility. So IV administration, if this medication can be given by IV push, it'll tell you the rate and how you need to dilute it if that is a requirement. So this one here says administer undiluted, so you don't have to use any other fluid to dilute it with. Immediately before induction of anesthesia or post-op if nausea and vomiting occur shortly after surgery. And then the rate, again in red, over at least 30 seconds and preferably over two to five minutes. And uh, Zofran comes IV in four milligrams per two mLs and four milligrams is a pretty standard dose. So you would draw that up, the two mLs, and give that over two to five minutes by watching uh, your watch while you do that. So for intermittent uh, infusion, that means if the patient is getting it intermittently at a regular interval, that's not just on a PRN kind of a as needed basis. So it tells you what diluent to use, so what IV fluid that medication is compatible with. So it says dilute doses for prevention of nausea and vomiting associated with chemotherapy in 50 ml of D5W, 0.9% sodium chloride, D5 normal saline, D5 half normal saline, the solution is clear and colorless. So that's what we always check for, make sure that there is no discoloration. And the drug book will let us know what the solution should look like. And then it's stable for seven days at room temperature following dilution. Concentration should be one milligram per milliliter. The rate for intermittent infusion, administer each dose over 15 minutes. Um, section goes over Y-side compatibility and Y-side incompatibility. So what that means is when the patient has an IV, you always have the little ports that are attached and certain medications are compatible or not compatible at that Y site. So this would be the tubing that goes from the pump to the patient and then there's this little port and this is the Y because it looks just like a Y. And so this will tell you what medications you can push while the ondansetron is infusing or that you cannot push or is it incompatible with. So there's a long list of compatibilities and then a shorter list of incompatibilities. Also, your pharmacist will be a nice guide and or you might have some sort of electronic um, resource in uh, your computer system, your EMR, or even in your Pixis where you remove the medication to check that. And it's very important, if the medication is incompatible and you still need to give it and you only have one IV line, then you need to pause the IV pump flush the medication, flush the port that you're going to use with normal saline with at least 10 mLs, then push the medication and then push it with saline again. That way the incompatible drug doesn't touch what's running through the IV pump and the line is then cleared from that medication and then you can push start on your medication that's currently infusing.